Hypermobility is a problem that many of us would have seen as teenagers when we'd have a friend who could do these party tricks like bending fingers right back and bending thumbs back and people feel nauseous looking at it. It just looks so awful. Um, and uh, it looks like fun and you think, wow, they could be, you know, great gymnastics uh, and, and uh, movement and all kinds of things they can do uh, that other people can't do. But there is a lot of problems associated with hypermobility and there's a whole condition called hyper hypermobility joint syndrome. And this syndrome involves, uh, particularly in teenagers where they're growing, uh, joint and muscle pain. It can, you can actually uh, have sprains and strains because uh, the protection of the joint is such that it doesn't stop you going over. It just keeps on going and, and you actually tear the ligaments. And also you have a very uh, weak sense of balance because, um, you know, you, in a way you don't know where you are. We, most people know where they are with their joints because they very soon hit the limit of the range of motion. Whereas with hypermobility, that limit of range of motion is very large. Um, so it is quite a problem and it has other systemic uh, uh, problems as well, like in digestion and things like that. So it's, um, uh, but with respect to feet, it's very treatable. Whereas in generally, uh, it cannot be treated. You just have to use uh, physiotherapy and uh, occupational therapy uh, to uh, learn how to strengthen your muscles and actually learn how to keep your range of motion in a neutral position. As you can see in the leg, there's nine different muscles that move the foot. And any one of them can become a uh, stronger or weaker or uh, pull the uh, foot out of alignment. So what happens when we're teenagers, and this is where a lot of the problems happen, is uh, we don't grow very, very slowly and steadily. We go through growth spurts. And one of the biggest growth spurts, it happens a bit in, earlier in girls than boys, is around, around the age of uh, 13 or 14, the leg bones suddenly grow. So all of a sudden, you know, you grow a couple of centimeters, okay? So what's happened is a genetic command is going on uh, simply because you're that age to tell the bones to grow longer. The little epiphyseal plates start multiplying and within a month you're two centimeters taller. But what happens is that the muscles are still the same length. And that's why you get these gangly teenagers that are falling over and tripping and getting um, people are telling them stop being so clumsy. And actually, they're doing very well because they've got a brand new body in the last two months. And, um, and the muscles are having to adapt. So the bone grows because of a genetic command. The muscles grow because they're being stretched. Now, that... If you've got a normal range of motion in the joints, what that means is that because the joints can't go too far out of alignment, the muscles are forced to grow. What happens in a, a hypermobile person, say this muscle here, you can see there's the Achilles tendon. You can imagine these two bones grow two centimeters. This is now two centimeters too short, and it begins to pull, and you can see it's slightly out of line because of, it, uh, because of shock absorption. So what happens if you're hypermobile is a strong tendency for the, instead of stretching the Achilles tendon, to simply collapse the foot like that. And uh, so that's what we've got to stop happening. You can see now that the whole thing is very unstable um, until those muscles... Um, get longer. And that's when the damage can be done as a teenager. And often teenagers will go to their GP and say, look, I'm spraining my ankle or, and um, I'm in a lot of pain in my muscles and my joints. And the GP will uh, refer them to a, a physiotherapist or an occupational therapist. And also those people might prescribe really strong footwear that stabilizes the ankle 
maybe has a turned up insole like this, uh, you can see, so that's stopping the arch collapsing, and also may have long stiffeners like this, which again stop the ankle turning over and, and give from the outside in the restrictions to the joint mobility that uh, was on a normal person would be on the inside out. Also to have really wide uh, heel bases to help with the balance because balancing is a big problem for people with hypermobile feet because they simply don't know where they are in the range of motion because they get very little feedback. So that's the strategy is uh, if in extreme cases somebody comes and has hypermobility and, and uh, it's really causing them problems, they can have something specially made uh, with the turned up insole, with the long stiffener, with firm legs and, and maybe in splints as well that to stop the joints collapsing whilst the muscles grow and get stronger. And if that's all done by the time the adult the teenagers and adult in their early 20s and they're stable and strong, then uh, they won't uh, have as many problems as if it's not cared for properly with either uh, um, trainers or uh, specially designed footwear or splints or even uh, bespoke orthopedic footwear to uh, stop this condition uh, causing a lot of damage in the future.